Okay, we're making pierogies today, and I've got the dough on the counter, and and I got a helper who gave up his post of pinching pierogi dough. So now he's cooking them for me and putting them on a on a tray after they he buttered them. And now we're going to um, put them in rows and not close, they don't touch each other. And so th then we put them in the freezer and freeze them. And then when I take them out and put them in bags. And we're making these because Thanksgiving is coming our way. And uh, we want to get this done. We need, everybody loves pierogies, so... I'm going to try to oops, get this here in position. Whoa. There. Hopefully this will focus. And I'm going to roll. needs to be up. Yesterday I did um, sauerkraut and I, I wasn't in the picture at all. And I don't know if I can figure this thing out. Oh here, this is what I have to... No, is this it? <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa. There. Maybe. Now I've got that pot of from my KitchenAid and it's plum full of potatoes and um, what I put in the potatoes is um, mash them. I don't use milk and put cheese whiz and seasoning salt and that goes according to your taste. You can use cheddar cheese which would be better for you but I've been making it like this for years so I um, don't want to change especially when there's a family gathering. Okay, well, usually my husband does gets all the dough ready in little balls and like this. Balls. I'm going to make a dozen at a time. 
go that easier. Like Otherwise you get your hands full of potato and then you could get that on the dough, at the edge of the dough, where they won't stick together. The dough doesn't stick so. How many years have we been making pierogies, Dave? Do you have any idea? Two. Two. <laughs> huh? Two. Two, come on. Two plus. Two plus how many? Probably 10 years, more than that, I guess, even. He doesn't talk very much. We're in a cage for this time. <laughs> 4, 8, 12. Yeah, I got him. Okay, now, wash my hands. Some of the potatoes. My granddaughter says, potatoes, potatoes, I'm always saying potatoes, I didn't say it right, potatoes, tomatoes, potatoes. Okay, here's my little ring for my jar, make some dry rings, turn into the dough, it's like a cookie cutter, round circle, and I put the dough about one. One roll. But I get what I get. Well, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And, well, I'm going to get eleven again instead of twelve. Now, I'm just going to show you how I do this. Very simple, but hard at the same time. your ball in here and squeeze it. Squeeze the edges together. You gotta make sure they're squeezed quite well, otherwise they'll open up when they're boiling and the inside will come out. And then you gotta throw that out to the chickens or whoever. It's just dough, it's not the potato goes into the water. So that's it. Some people add cottage cheese. Um, those are not too bad if you don't add too much cottage cheese, unless you really like cottage cheese. Um, and then some people, the Ukrainians, they have, make a really good sauce. Um, I think it's kind of a dill sauce, they do. Have you ever had those? Dave? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had the uh, Ukrainian dill sauce? Mm -hmm. You have? That's pretty if you know what you're doing. I have never made it myself because my kids are used to this one method. So, to reheat it, um, Friday? You're waiting. Well, are you done? Boiling those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm not too slow. I'm, I'm figuring I'm pretty good. I'm doing three jobs at once here. Make sure you're getting the mom and falling apart. Otherwise, that's it. How many dozen do we need when we get the family together? At least ten dozen. Close to ten dozen. There's close to twenty of us when we get together, and they all love pierogies, don't they? And my camera is way down again. Anyway, we'll be able to show you what we're doing here. Oh, there I did the spoon thing. You can do it like that, but then you end up with potatoes on your 
something first. Okay, this is 11. No, 4, 8, 9. I stick them all in the water, boiling water and a little bit of salt. And uh, there's salt. There's also seasoned salt in the potatoes and the cheeses. Like I said, you can use uh, the count. You got them? We'll make 12. Okay, so now I'm going to um, take some of my dough and after, when I'm all done, I'm going to give you the recipe for the dough. Okay? Okay, now taking them out of the pot and putting them into a strainer. The water is going to come out of them. With a strainer spoon. Strainer spoon, yeah. Putting them into a strainer. Okay, now. Now he dumps them into the pan. And there's a little bit of butter in there. Coats them really good. So they don't stick. We have to do that. Cause they don't, uh, so they don't stick. And then, he's going to put them... into these trays. And now I'm going to uh, roll some more dough and make some more pierogies. I've got 12 balls of potatoes and that'll be going into this into the dough. One and a half cups water, two eggs, four teaspoons salt, and half a cup vegetable oil. And what you have to do first is beat the eggs with oil until it's light and then let it sit for a while. It says a few hours, but I never leave it that long. And then uh, blend in the salt and water and gradually add the flour and turn it onto a floured board or counter and knead it until smooth. And then I let it rest for a good half hour. Um, for the potatoes, the potato mixture, I'll show you the pot that I use. I fill it with potatoes, peel the potatoes and put a little bit of salt and um, fill it or let it boil, cook the potatoes, and uh, it's about a four, four quart, I think it is, uh, pot, and um, what else? Um, yeah, and then I add cheeses and seasoning salt, and I don't have any measurements, but to mash the potatoes really good. And the best thing we found out today, I probably knew this before but I haven't made them for a while, is um, let, the, let it cool off before you try to roll them into little balls. And um, depending on the size of your pastry, um, the round circle, uh, it will depend on the amount of, or how big the ball is. So mine is uh, the size of a quarter cake and, and a round quarter. And, and I guess the diameter would be the, like across the top. Does that make any sense? Um, anyway, this is the pot. It's boiling. It's about to boil in water. I'm going to finish off. Making my pierogies, I have to do a second, a second dough uh, because 
I've got six dozen out of the first batch, and now I've got, I'm going to have five dozen. I rolled the balls, and I know I'm going to get five out of my um, recipe, so it's 11 dozen of pierogi. So much cheaper than buying. You know, you can pay like up to four dollars a dozen, and even more. And I'm making like we'll round it off to ten. That's forty dollars. Yeah, forty dollars. And you know, basically costing me, I don't know, maybe maybe five. So that is a big saving. Anyways, this is the pot, and then I will be busy doing what I'm doing and get that done. Put it in the freezer, and then put them in bags, and they're ready for Thanksgiving. Bye. Size this pot. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments.